A 78-year-old balloon salesman is finally about to make his lifelong dream come true. He attaches thousands of balloons to his house and takes off into the wilderness of South America. However, Carl's dream turns into a nightmare when he finds out that a Boy Scout is stowed away with him. Today, we will recap the amazing story of the 2009 movie, Up. The movie starts with a young boy named Carl Fredrickson, who wears an old pilot's cap and goggles and is watching a film about his hero, Charles Muntz, a well-known explorer. The film shows Muntz's accomplishments and discoveries, but also mentions that scientists recently discredited him for his latest discovery, the skeleton of a bird. Muntz is determined to prove them wrong and sets off on his Zeppelin with his team of dogs to find living proof of his discovery. After the film, Carl runs down the street with his balloon named after Muntz's Zeppelin, the spirit of adventure. On his way, he passes an old rundown house where he hears someone shout Muntz's famous slogan, Adventure is out there. Carl enters a building to investigate and meets a spirited, adventurous girl who is similar to him in her admiration of a famous explorer named Charles Muntz. At first, Carl is surprised by her loud and tomboyish behavior, but he loses his balloon in the building, and the girl Ellie helps him get it back. Unfortunately, Carl falls and breaks his arm in the process. Later that night, Ellie shows Carl her adventure book, where she dreams of going to Paradise Falls in South America. She makes him promise to go there with her someday. Carl and Ellie get married and move into the same house where they first met. They work as a balloon salesman and zookeeper, and despite not being able to have children, they save money to travel to Paradise Falls. However, they are forced to use their savings for other expenses over time. When Carl realizes they never fulfill their promise, he plans a surprise trip to South America for Ellie. Sadly, Ellie's declining health lands her in the hospital, and she eventually passes away, leaving Carl alone. Carl spends his retirement years living alone in his house as the city around him grows and changes. He is asked to move to a retirement home due to the construction, but he's not interested and often argues with the people in charge. One day, a young boy named Russell comes to Carl's house to help him as part of his wilderness explorer scout duties. Carl tricks Russell into searching for a fake creature called a snipe in his yard. When a construction worker accidentally damages Carl's mailbox, which is a cherished part of his home and reminds him of Ellie, Carl hits the worker with his walker. This lands him in court and he's told he must leave his home the next day. The next morning, workers from the retirement home come to pick him up, but Carl surprises everyone by using millions of helium balloons to lift his house up into the sky and away from the city. Once Carl's house is safely away from the city, he sets a course for South America and relaxes in his chair. However, his peaceful solitude is interrupted when he hears a knock at the door. To his surprise, he finds Russell clinging to his porch for dear life. Russell had been looking for the fake creature under Carl's porch when the house took off. Carl invites Russell inside, and they decide to descend back to civilization before a storm hits. The house gets tossed around in the turbulence, but Carl manages to secure most of his belongings before he falls asleep. He wakes up to Russell's excitement the next morning. Russell tells him that they are over South America, but they can't see the ground because of the thick fog. Carl tries to descend by releasing some balloons, but they hit the ground too early and are knocked out of the house. They end up clinging to the house with a hose attached to the porch as the fog clears, revealing a high plateau opposite Paradise Falls. Unable to climb back into the house, Carl and Russell decide to walk to the falls before the helium in the balloons runs out. Meanwhile, a chase is progressing in the jungle. Three dogs with red lights on their collars are chasing a large bird, but they lose its trail when they hear the fine-tuned sound of Carl's hearing aid. Russell takes a break to go to the bathroom and discovers a large bird which he entices closer with a chocolate bar. The bird named Kevin follows them on their journey, but runs away when they encounter what appears to be a man calling out to them. However, they soon realize that it was just an illusion created by overlapping stones. Later, they meet a golden retriever named Doug, who is wearing a device on his collar that allows him to speak. Doug is searching for a bird and is tackled by Kevin. Despite Carl's initial reluctance, they all travel together. At one point, Kevin makes loud calls and receives smaller responses. Doug explains that Kevin is calling your babies, and Russell discovers that Kevin is actually female. Later on, the trio of dogs that was chasing the bird earlier, consisting of Alpha, Beta, and Gamma, pick up the scent of Carl and Russell, whom they refer to as the mailman. 
Alpha, who is a Doberman pinster and the lead of the pack, communicates with a damaged speaking device that makes his voice sound high-pitched. He uses Gamma's caller device to call for Doug, a dog they had sent on a false mission to get rid of him, only to find that he is now with the bird they were after. They find Carl and Russell, but the bird, Kevin, has already fled. Instead, they take Carl and Russell to their master. The two are led through a large gorge where they meet a group of high-tech crawler dogs before finally coming face-to-face -face with their master, the elderly Charles Muntz. After inviting Carl and Russell onto his Zeppelin as guests, Muntz's behavior takes a dark turn when he discovers that Russell has a new pet bird. Carl is shocked to learn that Muntz has spent years hunting for the same bird that he was accused of fraud for and has gone mad as a result. Muntz reveals a table of head mannequins, each wearing different headgear which he claims belonged to people who were after his bird. He grimly knocks each mannequin off the table with his cane as he tells their stories. Carl and Russell escape from the Zeppelin just as Muntz discover the bird calling out from the roof of Carl's house. With the help of Kevin and Doug, they barely escape capture by Muntz's dogs, but Kevin is injured in the process. Carl agrees to help Kevin safely return to her babies, but Muntz and his dogs catch up with them, and a net captures Kevin. Muntz sets fire to Carl's house and takes Kevin aboard his Zeppelin. Angry and upset, Carl yells at Doug and decides to take his house to Paradise Falls, even if it means risking his life. Despite successfully setting his house down at the falls, he loses Russell's respect for leaving Kevin behind. Feeling sad and alone, Carl retreats into his house and looks through Ellie's adventure book. He realizes that she never got to see Paradise Falls. But as he's about to close the book, he discovers new pictures documenting their life together, with a note from Ellie encouraging him to go on new adventures. Inspired, Carl goes outside just in time to see Russell taking off with a few balloons and a leaf blower. Carl quickly empties his house of excess furniture, allowing it to take flight once again, and follows Russell. They soon find themselves on Munt's Zeppelin, where Russell is captured and tied to a chair. Munt's plans to drop him out of the bomb bay doors, but Carl arrives just in time and rescues him. Carl then goes into the Zeppelin with Doug to rescue Kevin. He distracts the guard dogs with a tennis ball from his walker and frees Kevin but is confronted by Munt's. They engage in a sword fight with Carl using his walker as an extended sword, while Russell fights off his squadron of dogs in fighter planes. Eventually, they regain control of the house and return to the Zeppelin to save Kevin. Meanwhile, Doug has outsmarted Alpha and becomes the new Alpha, running off to meet the others topside. Kevin, Doug and Russell reach the Zeppelin safely, while Carl struggles to hold onto the house using a hose as Muntz shoots at them with a rifle. Carl manages to lure Kevin, Doug and Russell out of the house using chocolate, but Muntz tries to jump out of the window after them and falls to his death. As they make their way back to the Zeppelin, Carl is forced to release his house and it slowly descends into the clouds. Carl accepts this loss, believing that it is for the best. Kevin is reunited with her three chicks, while Carl takes Russell and Doug back home. There, Russell attends his senior explorer ceremony, but his father is unable to present him with his final badge. Carl steps in and gives Russell a grape soda badge that Ellie had given him long ago, which he calls the Ellie Badge. They then sit together on a curb in front of an ice cream shop, with Carl acting as a grandfather to Russell and the spirit of adventure floating above them. Meanwhile, at Paradise Falls, Carl and Ellie's house has landed in the exact spot where they had always dreamed of living, on the cliff overlooking the falls. We hope you enjoyed revisiting the heartwarming and adventurous tale of Carl and Russell's journey to Paradise Falls. If you haven't already, be sure to check out the movie up for a nostalgic and emotional experience. That's perfect for all ages. And if you're looking for another great animated movie to watch, we highly recommend checking out Frozen. This Disney classic tells the story of two sisters, Anna and Elsa, and their journey to save their kingdom from eternal winter. With unforgettable and lovable characters, Frozen is sure to capture your heart just like Up did. So click this video and I'll see you there.